Hi, my name is Tom and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about interview questions that you might get when you're interviewing for your first programming job and one area they like to talk to you about is abstract. What does abstract mean? So the question would either be what makes a class abstract or what is an abstract method? Those are two very common questions. So what makes a class abstract? The answer they're looking for is an abstract class has at least one abstract method. That's the answer they're looking for. However, it doesn't have to. Actually, you can just make a class and say it's abstract and um, it will be an abstract class. I'll, I'll give you an example. If I add a class and I call it abstract, oops, abstract class and I make it abstract by adding the keyword abstract. I can build it. And look, it built. It's an abstract class for no particular reason, but there you go. However, that's not the answer they're looking for. The answer they're looking for is an abstract class has at least one abstract method. So what does that mean? An abstract method is a method that doesn't have any body to it. It doesn't have any code. It's just a uh, signature. So it would look something like this. This is, I'll make it a constructor. So it looks something like this abstract uh, void add numbers, something like that. And if I compile it, uh, virtual or abstract, who told it to be? private public abstract. So it builds, right? An abstract class. Remember this is the answer they for. An abstract class has at least one abstract method. Now to take it to the next level, it doesn't have to be a method. It could be an abstract property, an abstract index or invent, but just say abstract method because that's what they're looking for. Um, to give you, to show you what I mean, if I take the keyword abstract off the class and try to build it, it says, look, you can't do that because um, this is abstract, but this class is not. So if you have an abstract method, a method with no body, just a signature, then you have to make the class abstract. OK, so what do you do with this abstract class? Well. You cannot instantiate an abstract class. That's another interview question. Can you instantiate an abstract class? No, you cannot. You can't because it's looking for an explanation of what this method does. So I'm going to make another class and call it real class. And the real class inherits the abstract class. And I'll make a constructor here. Okay, so I've made a constructor. So I'm inheriting the real class now. Is this going to compile? The answer, of course, is no, it won't compile because I'm inheriting from this abstract class, which has this abstract method. And when you inherit an abstract class, it's expecting you to tell what that method does. You're responsible for making it useful. So they probably have something clever like implement it and look it threw it in there so add numbers so I'll make something bogus and I equals one plus one actually let me take that out for a second I'll show you what I mean I'll try to build it and see I can't you didn't implement that method you're supposed to do that if you're inheriting you're supposed to do that so let's throw that back in there and now it should build yep builds why because um, just to review all these things these are the questions what's an abstract class or what's an abstract method abstract class has an abstract method an abstract method is a method with no body and you have and classes that inherit it have to define it
see how that works so far. So now if I go to my program, I can say um, abstract class AC equals, could I say new abstract class? Could I say that? The answer, of course, is no, because remember another interview question, can you instantiate abstract classes? No, you can never instantiate abstract classes because they're missing something. They're abstract. They're missing what this method means. Rather, you would have to instantiate like real class, because real class is an abstract class. Remember, it inherited, so that would work. Or you could have real class, shoot. <laughs> typing problems. So that would build. So there you go. So on your interview, if they ask you about abstract, remember the answers they're looking for. What's an abstract class? An abstract class, even though we all know you just put the word abstract on it, it's an abstract class. What they're looking for is an abstract class has one or more abstract methods. It could have properties, it could have abstract properties, abstract events, whatever. They want you to say methods. Um, can you instantiate an abstract class? No, you cannot. The class that inherited it has to implement the abstract method. Um, and there you go. I think that'll get you through that part of the that part of the interview.